Okay, so you guys know that presets are a super important factor when it comes to being an experienced editor and making the best videos possible. But the thing is, a lot of people get confused when it comes to making presets, using presets, anything involving presets. But utilizing these presets is a very valuable tool to understand and know how to do. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually use them, make them, basically everything involving presets. I know I just said presets like 5 million times. I hope you guys do enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into the tutorial. Okay. So the first thing we obviously got to do is you guys probably, if you're watching this video, you already have DaVinci Resolve installed. So that's not going to be a problem. But if you don't have it installed and you're planning on using the software in the future, make sure to go check out the link I have in the description and you'll be able to download it right there. And obviously after you've done that, you're just going to boot it up and I'll see you guys once it's done loading up. Okay, quickly before we actually get into the tutorial, I want to quickly talk to you guys about my two editing packs that I have right now. I recently just dropped my 2024 editing pack and that has absolutely everything you need in terms of content creation it'll help you make the best videos possible and make editing a lot easier when it comes to making your projects in my packs i have over 150 presets supporting davinci resolve after effects premiere and sony vegas a ton of project files for my own videos as well as videos that i've edited for my own clients so you're able to actually edit professional videos based off of them i have a ton of sample footage from some of the biggest youtubers that i've edited for practice clips for fortnite a sound effects library music library memes literally everything you could ever need for editing and if you guys can't actually afford my 2024 pack, I have an all-in-one $5 pack that's great for beginners as well. So if you guys want to check out either of those packs, they're going to be at the top of the description, but I won't go on any longer. Let's get right back to the video. All right, so when DaVinci Resolve boots up, you know, it depends on the usage of presets that you're doing. If you're already trying to make presets, you can do it in any project as well as if you are trying to add presets, for example, the ones from my editing pack that I talked about literally like a minute ago, you're going to go inside of any project that you want to use them in so for example i have a montage sample right here that i was already editing and i used it for a tutorial so i'm going to go in here as an example showing you guys how you could actually use it and or save a preset so we can see right here that i already have a build up preset on top of this clip and we can see as we go in we have a little bit of a build up shake so let's say if i want to save a build up shake from this montage and use it in the future on a different montage all i have to do is go into the adjustment clip that i have that preset in and don't worry about keyframing as soon as you have something keyframed once you save the preset it'll save those keyframes as well you'll just have to adjust them in the keyframes menu like i normally show you guys but it's so simple saving presets or making presets is the easiest thing on the planet you're just going to right click on whatever it is go to settings go to save as and you'll just save it to wherever your presets folder is so for example i have a folder here called presets i would just save it to the davinci folder it's that simple um and if you have something that requires multiple different effects you're gonna go in and we can see this impact has three different effects so we're gonna left click highlight all of them right click settings save all as make sure we do save all as and that's going to save it all as a group preset so that'll save the keyframing the effects all that stuff but the only thing is if you're let's say transferring it to someone else or making your own edit pack you want to make sure that you mention that the people need sapphire plugins if you're saving sapphire presets if you're saving bcc they need to have bcc um so yeah whatever effects you're using the other person has to have them installed in order for them to work now same exact process goes for using presets so for example i'm just gonna get rid of all of these um and i'm gonna show you how to use each one individually as well as adjusting the keyframes like i mentioned so for example let's say you have just save the preset or you've downloaded a preset from someone else you want to make sure you know that you have that preset saved on your pc that's the number one step now from there let's say you want to use an impact preset for example so i show this in my tutorials all the time impacts are always going to start on the kill itself so we'll have it spanning the duration from the kill to the end of the clip so simple we go into the fusion tab because this is literally where everything involving presets is going to be done in so we're going to do it all in the fusion now we'll navigate on over to wherever we have them saved to i have this saved hidden because um i was using a thumbnail screenshot for it but let's say we want to drag in the clean pink impact which is in my own editing pack so we're going to drag it in and then once it's in here we can see that's those same three nodes that i just showed you how to save before we're going to disconnect this line we can see that this disappears and we just need to drag from this gray box to this this gray box to this and just like that our image will 
will show up again, but with our effects. And we can see that we have that shake applied, but the only thing is it's not keyframe. So we need to make sure that we fix that. So if we open the keyframe menu right here and we press this little arrow thing, that'll expand our view to the point where we can see those keyframes. So we can see they're all the way over here. There are these little notches. So for example, if we were to move this over here and press the zoom in, we'll be able to see them a lot better. But all we literally have to do is just progressively drag these over to the left to get them closer to kind of where we have the adjustment clip, which is these numbers right here. So we're going to drag those over. We can bring this back over here, press that view thing again. We can see they are still a little off, so we're going to have to fine tune them, but they are a little closer in terms of the view. So what I always do to make my life easier is I will drag this to the beginning frame. I'll highlight these and I'll wait to adjust them so we have it on that first frame, kind of estimate it. So we're like a frame or two off. Then I'll pick these two as well, put myself in the first frame, bring these over and then drop down the flicker as well, drag that over and bam, just like that, I have the preset kind of lined up officially. So we can see that first keyframe, these white notches are what kind of signifies that first keyframe. So we want to make sure that's at the very beginning. Uh, so we can see if we click on each thing, we can see as long as we have a red dot right here, that's showing that we have a keyframe on the first frame, boom, keyframe here boom keyframe here so that's basically that and with the transitions i've mentioned it before if you want to watch my transition tutorial i explain that keyframing process in that video but you're going to make sure that you line up that third keyframe with your midpoint um so that's super simple as well but yeah that is basically how you do that bit of a shorter tutorial but i know there's a ton of confusion i have a lot of people that buy my editing pack and literally don't know how to use presets chances are if it shows that you need to buy a better version of davinci you don't actually you just need the sapphire plugins bcc plugins universe plugins something like that is missing so you need to make sure you have those installed and yeah guys that's gonna basically do it for the tutorial though but yeah guys that's gonna do it for the tutorial though if you guys did enjoy you learned something make sure to like comment subscribe we're so close to 100,000 subscribers leave me a comment down below what you want to see me cover in the next video on the channel and i hope you guys did enjoy peace out